you know, earlier today we talked about some free agent signings, um, Oposo, uh, Lucic going to Edmonton, Dan Hughes for the Stars, you know, just a, a bunch of stuff happened, big trades with elite defenders and, and big name forwards and just all that interesting stuff. But I wanted to talk about something a little more interesting um, in the fact that Montreal signs Radulov, okay? And, and here's why. Number one, the guy wants superstar money. I don't know what his contract was. I haven't seen it yet. I, I doubt he got the seven, eight million that he wanted. But, you know, I look at a team that trades P.K. Subin for Shea Weber, a trade that, you know, everyone's arguing about who got the better end of the deal. But, you know, when they talk about Subin, they say, oh, well, the reason we traded this defenseman is because he was an issue in the locker room. Him and him and Pacioretty would, you know, would kind of get into it. Pacioretty turned the locker room against him because Subin was uh, too in self-involved or too, uh, too, too big of an ego, something along those lines, about how they wanted to increase their locker room chemistry, and, and that was an issue that they saw coming, and, and they wanted to fix it. And then they go and sign a guy like Radulov, who, if you noticed in his recent uh, NHL history, um, you know he gets banned from the in the playoffs for breaking curfew. He doesn't back check if you watch his playoff games. Go go YouTube Alexander Radulov, his playoff performance. Get to watch his back check. Watch his hustle in, in in a playoff series, and then tell me that that guy's not going to be a problem in the locker room. I know people change. You see it happen. You know, Tyler Sagan had, a, you know, this bad boy image comes to Dallas starting center. Seems to calm down quite a bit. It happens. But there's a different attitude with that guy than, than with Sagan, in my opinion. You know, so we'll see how it plays out. Just interesting. Seems to me that there's more. They seem to have wanted to move P.K. Subban more than just an attitude problem. You know, so I really hope he goes to Nashville and does well. I think he will. I think he's a good guy. I think he's, you know, a, you know, a little bit of a character, but I, I think that can be good. Fans like him, so just interesting part, of, you know, on Montreal. So we'll see how that trade goes and see if it's, uh, you know, as as funny as as it seems right now.